Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to create a responsive bootstrap header image carousel banner HTML file. Right now, if you notice, I am on my local host. After creating the carousel banner, I will upload this page, master page create.html file on my real domain hostandservice.com. Later, we will check on different devices the created carousel header images SEO friendly or not. Okay, now let's go to the HTML page to write the code. This is my HTML page as I want to create the header image console banner. Between the header section after horizontal the code is due id images class here you notice the intelligence showing all the bootstrap classes. The reason I have added the CSS and JavaScript of bootstrap links I have added. If you don't add these links, the bootstrap doesn't work. Cursor slide data right. Cursor and the interval between the images is data interval is um, I'm giving the two seconds time now I'm adding the images do class cursor in a in a role is list box div class is item add the image source console white line alt white line and title is line copy this thing copy the first item I want to add three images and the source pick URL images console pacman and the third one is images console wolves pacman pacman wolves 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 f6 Now we just added the three images in console in the class and the role is list box. Here one important point is the first image, the class item must be active. So when we run this page, the first page will be displayed. Now we will check in the browser how it looks. Go to my browser. I am refreshing this page. Here is the output. For every two seconds, the images will be scrolled and here if you notice when I mouse over on the image the images doesn't scroll if I remove then it will scroll after every two seconds now my next target is I want to add three circles at the bottom of the images and as well as the two buttons left arrow and right arrow let's go to the HTML coding part We'll create the indicators console indicators class console indicators list item data target target data slide 
to 0 0 class active so data slide to 0 is the first image when I click the indicator of the first image, when I click the first indicator it moves the first one and the class is activated where copy this paste paste and data slider one and data slider two is the last image and data slider one is a second image and we don't require any class active the second and the third image remove it here's the important is we need the data target and the data target is car images id hash car images hash paste here car images hash car images paste here paste here now we just finished the cursor indicators the next target is create the buttons left arrow and right arrow buttons go here for that i'm using href link data slide data slide previous it's a roll button class I'm using left cursor control span class hidden is true the span copy this now we will create the right arrow button which is for the next button and this is the left right true now the href the car images now hyperlink of href is car images copy and paste here remember we have to use a hash symbol otherwise the button click even doesn't work car images now in the span class we have to add the left arrow symbol and here is the right arrow symbol now go to the components Here is the left symbol. Copy this class name. The left one. I'm pasting here. And for the right, copy it. I'm pasting here. It's for the right arrow and this for the left arrow. I think is everything is done. Will I will upload this file on my remote server. I just opened the file of FTP client to transfer my files from local side to remote side. I'm connecting now. It's just connected to remote site http docs this is a file i want to upload okay and also the images also have to upload images images and the folder is console folder upload refresh the folder Here are the files. Check on the real domain host. And the path is here it is the output. We got three indicators and as well as the left and right buttons. Now we will check on different devices. These are SEO friendly or not. Copy the path. We'll check on the Apple iPhone. Paste the URL, go. 
see here the images and banners now we'll check on very small device Samsung That's it. If you like this video, please leave your valuable comment, share this video and please subscribe my channel. Catch you on my upcoming videos.